Good evening, commissioners, staff, can you, uh, residents, yeah, move up and to the visitors. Mic a little bit so they can hear you. My name is Lori Knopflin. I'm a Carson resident and member of this community since 1960. Founder and volunteer with Carson Connected. I'll be speaking a little on the history of Carson. I keep hearing Carson's history being told from the early 1920s. The truth is, Carson's history began in the late 1960s, when residents got fed up with the dumping on our community. I myself witnessed explosions, leaks, and spills all during a time when drilling was at a minimum. I've seen the entire city covered in ash, our beaches littered with tar, and have had to lock down while Torrance Refinery contained a leak. The following two statements are from the Carson City website about our history. Number one, since Carson was an unincorporated area for so long with little political representation, it often ended up as the dumping ground, both literally and figuratively, figuratively of its neighbors. By the time Carson finally incorporated as a city in 1968, its landscape was pockmarked with dozens of refuse dumps, landfills, and auto dismantling plants, which none of its neighbors would have in their own cities. Number two, but the city has had to fight long and hard to cement those initial hardships, which still act as a hurdle to the city's progress. For instance, many of the prime building sites in the city have previous history as landfills or former refineries. This means any new construction on such contaminated industrial sites require lengthy procedures to deal with the environmental concerns. I'm asking you this evening to abide by the purpose and the history of the city of Carson, reject this incomplete draft environmental report, and send a recommendation to city council to stop the assault on the residents and city of Carson, and that you request a ban on all drilling activity and order all contamination be identified and cleaned up. Thank you, Ms. Coffin. All right, all right, all right, all right. Our next speaker. 